Hi, I'm Jorge from Plixi, and in today's video, we are going to be going through the process of connecting OneNote with your Google Tasks. So your to-dos, like the to-do tags from OneNote, are synced as tasks in Google Tasks, and you have an overview of what you have to do all the time. So cool, let's, uh, let's just go straight to it. So here, I'm in Plixi's website, as you can see, I am going to log in with my Google tasks, right? And uh, yeah, I have to give permission for Plixi to read my information and voila, now we are connected um, with Plixi, right? So for this exercise today, I've created this page with these five tasks from one to five, very easy example tasks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring them to my tasks here in uh, in my Google task, right? So in order to do that, <clears throat> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say, yes, create my first connection. I'm gonna create with OneNote. I have to go ahead and use my dummy account uh, for this. So yeah, you might have to authorize or to give some permissions, um, but yeah. That's how it works. Let me move the camera a bit. So yeah, what we have here <clears throat> is the initial screen for your connection, right? As we can see, OneNote and Google Tasks are connected. I can give this whatever name I want. Google, let's call it OneNote Test, just for the sake of it. And I'm gonna click Next. So in this screen, what you can do <clears throat> is you're gonna tell Plixi where to get your tasks from. I am going to go just for, yeah, I'm going to go and go and say, yeah, from Plixi, because that's my notebook, right? And I'm going to go and say, yeah, from one-on-one, -on -one because that's where I created my example, right? I could change this. I can select several of them if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> and here we can say that, okay, it found five to-dos. Cool which are the five uh, tasks that we created. So now we are gonna go ahead and select the tasks template. So in this case, we can do two things. We can create each of the to-dos that I create here as a task, or I can create a parent task, right? Give it their name and then create all of them as subtasks in the task. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and say, yes, bring me the tasks as tasks and they're going to, their name is going to be notebook, page and task. I can go here and add whatever dummy text I want, custom text, or I can go and select different um, <clears throat> options for the name to be dynamic, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, in the next stage, we are going to go and tell them where to create the tasks. I'm going to go and say my tasks. And in the final step, <clears throat> we are going to tell them, tell Plixi, how do I want my tasks to be synced? So if I want completion to be synced, deletion, and so on. So just for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to go ahead and click save. And as you can see here, it's telling us that the tasks were created and I'm going to come here and voila, there are the tasks. So I am going to complete number th three and two, let's say. And um, here I'm going to go ahead and change the name of one to test task, just to show you how they keep sync. Um, yeah, well, changes don't happen right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video here and I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, see you in a bit. All right, and we are back. And as you can see um, here in the history, you can see that Plixi completed tasks two and three. And then, um, okay, when we renamed it, it's gonna say that it was created and the previous name was deleted. And this is because um, we use the name as identifiers. So when you, yeah, when you change the name, it's kind of creating a new task, right? But you can see how 
um, <clears throat> tasks are going to be synced, right? The, yeah, it has a new name. Tasks two and three were completed. And here we can see how the example task one has the new name. So yeah, this is basically how Plixi works. I hope you found this useful and hope to see you again and coming to Pixie. Thank you very much. Have a good one.